Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video. So inside the play channel method, if you remember, we have created the instances of simple exo player and we have set that exo player to the player view that we have here and we have created the media item and we have play the media item from the URL, right? But this is not the correct way to use the HLS URL. So the URL that we are trying to play here is M3 U8 URL, right? So if you check your URL in the channel information, there you'll see that we are using M3 U8 playlist, right? So that is a HLS URL. So it is generally used for live streaming or streaming of the content through the internet. Okay, there is another way that we can improve this. Okay, so Exit Player provide the classes to improve the HLS URL. What we're gonna do is we're going to create the HLS, HLS URL from the given live URL that we have here. And we're going to play that HLS media source. Okay, uh, so what we'll, we'll do is we'll delete this media item. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the data source. Okay, from the Exit Player and we will select the factory and we'll create the data source factory instance here. We'll create new default HTTP data source factory. Now we'll create the HLS media source. Okay, we'll name the media source. Now we'll create the new HTTP media, so HLS media source. Okay, and here we'll access the factory and we need to attach the data source factory here. And now we'll create the media source, okay and inside the media source we'll use media item let me add new line here and inside this we'll create the media item dot from uri and we have the uri from our channel actually we get the channel from the live url parameter okay now we have created our media source now what we'll do is we'll create we'll set the me media source to the player so set and we'll pass the media source here we'll prepare the player similarly and instead of play we will play when the source is ready okay and here we'll pass the true so this way we will have a improve method to play the live url so if i run this application it should work the same as it was working before so let me run this. Our app is running now. Let me open the channel here Up and it is playing flu. the channel Your as it is supposed to. Okay. Not gone away. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and improve this model, this class right now. Uh, even when the activity is not visible, the channel keeps on playing. And if we exit the application, then only it's going to stop. So I want to fix that. Okay. So if I leave the application and switch to another application, then I want to pause the live streaming channel. And when the user come back to the activity, I want to restart playing it, okay? And for that, we will override few built-in methods that we have, like on pause, on resume, and we'll also implement the on destroy. The on pause is called when the user switches to another application and our application is in the background. In this case, I will pause the player. So to be able to do that, I need the player. So actually, let me create the global variable here okay okay now here i will use the player simple exit player and i will set the play when ready false okay and when the user exit our application i will just release the player so player dot release that way we will save some runtime memory so when the user again come back to our application we will say uh, we will start the live player from the latest position so we will just seek to default position okay that means it's going to refresh the player and start from the nearest position okay so nearest live position and we will play the player so we'll say the play when ready true okay now when i run this application it should uh, pause when i exit the application or go uh, 
put the application in the background or open another application go to the home page then it should pause the player and when i come back to the application it should uh, start playing automatically so open one channel okay the channel is playing I thought there would be so many women needing a voice global news and i want to go to home page so the channel is paused and if I can come back to this, news you can see it is start playing itself. This is the first train okay. She's been a trusted so that's what we want to do. More than Pause. Get come back to the channel. Play. Go back. Player is released. Okay, so that was the logic that I want to implement. Now I want to add one more feature in our player. So I want to add the progress bar here. So when the channel is loading, it should display the progress bar here. And when the channel is uh, start playing, it should hide the progress bar. And if channel is start buffering, and it should display the progress bar as well. So that is the standard thing that we always expect in the um, player, right? So I want to add that. So to be able to add that, I need to go to the details here. And I will add the progress bar from the design. So let's go to the widgets, add the progress bar. Okay, uh, actually I will add this progress bar here in the constraint view so that I'll be able to fix it in the middle of this player. Okay, now this progress bar is having ID as progress bar. So I will create the reference here. So progress bar, progress bar, and let's get the XML resources for the progress bar. So find viva id r dot id progress bar. All right. Now, by default, the progress bar is shown. And what I want to do is I want to display the progress bar only when the buffer starts or the channel is loading. Okay. So to be able to do that, we need to set the listener to our player. So let's go to our play channel method here. And just after this, I will add the listener to this player okay and we'll create new player listener now here we have loads of methods that we can override but we are only interested in on state change so on playback state change listener so we'll click on that so we get this state here okay particularly there are two states that we are interested in and one is state ready and another one is state buffering okay so player state ready means the player is ready to play in that case we will just hide the progress bar and another is state buffering and in that case the uh, progress bar will be visible and user will get the idea that something is happening in the background or it is buffering okay so let's go ahead and implement that so we'll make use of this state integer here so if the state is equals to we will use the player dot state ready okay in that case what we'll do we'll hide the progress bar so progress bar set visibility gone and we will play the player okay so player set when ready start when ready okay and we'll add the true and one more case that we'll check is if the state is equals to player dot state buffering okay and there are other state there are other states are available as well but we are not interested in that right now but if you want to implement that you can do so you can just uh, check the available state using this okay so we have state indeed idle ready so we have this four state here but we will only implement the two of them two of them the player is buffering will display the progress bar so visibility is visible and as soon as the state is ready we will hide the progress bar okay so that is the main logic of this block here and even when the buffering is going on what we'll do is we will keep the screen on so player view set keep screen on and we'll pass through here and in all other cases, we will just hide the progress bar and we'll play the player. Now we should be able to display and hide the progress bar according to the situation it's, it uh, occur here, okay? 
So let's run this application again. Open the debut, the American app. Player and as you can free see, trades for individual investors. we saw the buffering there, right? So if I open other, you can see we are getting this buffering as long as the player is not ready. And once the player Miller is ready and is a plan playing, to pass a landmark to climate initiative. Okay, so that is what I wanted to implement here. And I hope you got the logic that I have used here. Okay, so that's it for the player. And that are the, all the customization that I want to make for this player view. Now in the next video, we will add the navigation draw and add the categories section in our application. And probably the next two video will be the last of this series. And let me know what are the stuff that you are learning in this series. I hope you are able to understand the, the things that I'm teaching. If not, let me know in the comment below. I will be more than happy to help you. Okay, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one.